Now, last week I had Coach Chris Brown, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, you know I decided that I'm going to bring back Coach Chris Brown today because I believe that we tapped onto something which was very powerful last week, where we're talking about motivation and inspirational moments during lockdown and how we can actually go through lockdown at this time because I said this before and I said this many times and in my walk and I and I hope you you may have seen my walk sometime the the walk was this I say to people do not go into safe mode do not go into lockdown mode you need to go into boost mode okay Boost mode is whereby you click and you touch onto that, you know, you know, like you know, fast and furious. Think about that for a second. Fast and furious, you touch on that button there, whoa boom, you click into second gear and you fly. Okay, you fly, and that is one of the things that I said. Do not go into this safe mode, this safe mode zone, like when you get a computer and you open it. Do not go into lockdown mode, which they're talking about, and that is why I said, let's go back again, Chris, coach. And let's start it again and let's do another frame. So I'm going to bring in Coach shortly over here. Okay, Desire, thank you. It's showing now. Good, good. I think there was a glitch at the start. And what I'm going to do is edit that out. So that's no problem. Good night, everyone. Yes, I can see you, Silver. Oh, I can see you. Well, I, there's songs that I can see clearly now. Desiree, while the video was straight. Okay, fantastic. That is awesome. So the video did not come across good, but we got Chris good. And Chris, I'm bringing you in. So get ready, get ready. He's showing up. <laughs> <laughs> nice, Phil, but I'm here. That was a quick move. That was a quick move. <laughs> I, 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 I wanted the people. I wanted the people to catch you while you're off guard a while ago. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Let's keep you authentic. Let's yeah. see the real Coach Chris Brown. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, you know, the thing about life is that uh, we've got to be real, isn't it, Chris? Coach, yeah, we've yeah. got to be real in all the things yeah. that we do. And and I believe by being real, we are being transparent at the same time, you know? But listen, Very thank important. you for coming on again. And, and thank you for letting us go in for the double double portion, Lockdown Series Part 2. <laughs> hey, it's my pleasure, honestly. It's my pleasure to share and be here. Yes, yes. So tell me now, um, what's your take hmm. on last week? Because I, I, I see people keep talking about, one person said, oh, I like Coach Chris Brown. I'm going to tune in. He got a lot of fans these last days, isn't it? Oh, oh let's listen. Oh, um, you know, a big love goes out there, you know, because... The thing is all about touching lives and making changes, you know, and to see the support and the feedback that came back. There was someone particularly that you um, messaged me across who uh, jumped on and said that she liked what you're doing. And what's her name again? Stacy. So a big hello to Stacy as well. And who else yeah. as well sent some really positive comments, you know. You know what would be really good is what we're about to do today to actually get some yes. feedback on that. What do you reckon? I, I yeah. think that is good, for Chris, because... You know, you know, coach, one, one of the things sometimes, um, just like in any class and even yeah. at law school, when suddenly they say, write things down, write things down, make notes, right? Because mm -hmm. when, you, when you need to make notes, and you go back and you look, you sort of refresh your mind because things sometimes go very fast. You and I was yeah. talking the other day and you said you had something and it went and you I tried really to remember it, you know, yeah. and, and it went. Now, mm -hmm. I sometimes when I'm driving, when I used to drive a lot from um, Staffordshire, uh, Birmingham, back into London, when I used to be stationed outside there, if an inspiration come to me, I grab my phone, well, well, not while I'm on the motorway, well, well, while oh, I'm on the motorway. <laughs> 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 you know? no, no, I just, I just, I just say, Siri, I say, Siri, activate yourself. And I just call <laughs> someone and say, listen, and I just say, listen, I'm sending a message straight to you now, you know, and the, the word could be, you are the greatest thing since cook food or whatever, like anything, but just something yeah. to remind myself. If not, I'll have my little book and I'll just write it down. You know? yeah. So I, I think what you said is, is very good that persons tonight somehow pick up some cues, pick up some nuggets from yourself and really write it down, you know? Yes. And, and you can emphasize on what, what about what about writing things down, sir? Mm. You know, it's really important. Let me tell you a bit of psychology and writing. It's all and well if you've got a pad there or you've got your phone and you're tapping away and all that. But that's okay because that sends a message to the brain of you tapping. 
But do you know something? To actually yeah. write something down with your hand sends a message to your mind, which kind of makes an indentation of it staying in there. It's really interesting. You should have, um, look it up. It's really good. So um, my thing tonight is, yeah, write it down. What we're going to tell. I'm going to. I'm going to give some real nuggets and points that should actually bring some good results along here once the action is put in place. Well, what am I saying? Should will really? bring some good results. <laughs> yeah. And 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 tonight the, the topic is uh, creating earning opportunities in lockdown, right? Yeah. On the late topic. That's right. Uh, you know, and um, and Chris. Yeah, it is so important that while we are talking, because the one aspect of motivational talking, the most aspect of discussing all these ideas, mm -hmm. um, visions, dreams, there's another yeah. phrase, there's another phase which sometimes we don't click into the action, like what Anthony said, think it, plan it, <laughs> do it now, you know, yeah. you know, tell us, tell us why, why we're going into this one about earning. Well, I'll tell you what, talking about action as well, and like you said, with Antony's book, Think It, Plan It, Do It, um, that phrase alone just says it in itself, and the end bit is the do it action bit. Now, the action bit I'm going to talk about here is this. Look, it's all in well getting information, and sometimes we can go to hear many talks, and we get information, and it really hypes us up, and um, a little while later on, it's just still hyped up the next day, and then, you know, the dust, dust kind of settles, mm. and you know, it just kind of gets a little bit of platter. So it's really important that after you receive information to put it into action, then you can actually say, well, look, this was really good or that didn't work for me or what, you know, or whichever way, which it will, right? But the thing is to do an action is what brings the result at the end of the day. To just listen to the information and take it in is good emotionally, but it's the action that you connect with with the actual theory that you actually hear that brings about the result. So it's important. It's important yes. to what we're going to do tonight. So you know okay, what I'll so, say so, with so, that so, well? So, sorry, sorry, Colin. I was going to say, what I'll please, say to please, that right please. now, if nobody's prepared right now with a pen and paper in between them, just grab a pen and paper now instead. Pen and pad? Yep, I think I should get a pad as well. Isn't it? I've, got, I've got to listen to this as well. <laughs> <laughs> You ever had that sort of thing where you're talking, talking for, hang on, I need to know that one. <laughs> Who said that? Listen, listen, listen. You know? listen my, my, my life is one whereby I always have to walk with papers and especially in court these days, even though everything is online and virtual, but right. nothing beats scribbling something down. No. Because the computer will fail you many times. Nothing beats scribbling something down. And even on my shows, I'm always looking distracted, but I'm making notes, Chris. So, you know? Right. Yeah, and totally so understand. What, so, ladies, so, ladies and gentlemen, the, the first thing to do is wherever you are on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube is to get a paper, get a pad. Someone actually, Coach, someone said to me this morning that they're mm -hmm. tuning into the show to the workshop. I didn't correct them. They said they're coming to a oh. workshop. Wow. <laughs> wow. Well, I'll tell you what. Oh, yeah. We yeah. didn't say it was a workshop, but you know what? They got the right mindset. Good for them. Yeah. They're coming prepared. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So let's crack on now. So, so the, 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 we said this topic about creating earning opportunities mm -hmm. during this lockdown. During the lockdown, right. Right. Um, many people, and ladies and gentlemen, you have seen it, many people have lost their jobs. Many people are at home mm -hmm. doing furlough. Many people are actually looking in the mirror, thinking and questioning themselves. Say, Who am I? What am I? How can I be in a situation like this whereby Wabum, government just say something and the rug is pulled out under my feet. Do I need to think yeah. about other things? Do I need to think about other sources of income? Do I need to think about streams of income? Should I go back when things start to uh, open up to the same thing, the same old, same old? That's a quick question. That's a question people are, are, are challenged with now, Chris, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, what I'll say to that question as well is mm -hmm. let's, let's look at as time gone, gone by. Back in yeah. the days when I was a lot younger and your parents and all that, it was a sort of industrial industry, isn't it? Where people actually went to work and they had the one job and it kept mm -hmm. them through the years. And, you know, even sometimes their, their children got employed by the same place and the job yeah. went on. There was a sort of safety net. We've moved ahead. And there's also a positive and a negative in the yeah. information stage that we're in technology and everything. Everything's 
moved ahead. Not, not so many people needed and keeping jobs as long. So now the way everybody survives is being able to have, like you said, Silborn, multiple streams, multiple streams. So that if one goes down, you still got this going or you got that to back up, you know, and that actually makes a big difference, you know. But what I'll say is how much anybody has to have multiple streams. I'm just saying the theory of it. But it all depends on let's say your situation everything you know there's no sort of say as i say cutty cook away it's applying something to your situation that will work for you so we're adding value to what you got already in that sense and how to apply yourself in it right makes sense yeah, yeah. And that's powerful adding value to what you have there already and I'm not going to say what I was going to say now because I'll, I'll let you go first because there's a thing that was coming up in my head. And because right. it's coming up in my head, Chris, I do mm -hmm. this thing and I write it down. So it won't right. go. Hey. <laughs> Carry on. <laughs> good, good. <laughs> okay. Well, in saying that, you know, obviously we'll, we'll just actually go um, straight to it. And let, let me just explain something as well. I mean, just much to what you just said, Silborn, the yeah. whole idea is we're in lockdown. Yes. And a lot of people are in very precarious situations with the job situation. And some people are going back, some people in furlough, different things happening. Some people have completely just lost their job. Mm -hmm. Now, the information I'm about to pass you, I'm not talking, I'm talking to the people who are just thinking, look, I need to pay that bill. I need to do something. I need to up my game in one way or another. I don't know where I can do. Um, and there's those who are saying, well, look, I can't go for an interview now. Or, you know, the company shut we're talking about being independent and find a way that you can actually get through. So I'm not talking about the large, big entrepreneurs and ways of making money. What I'm talking about is real everyday person right now, the you and me, who needs to actually make some finance quickly right now. So what I'm going to say to this is the points I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you um, some of the theory behind it. I'm going to tell you, give you some action points. I'm going to give you some notes, some actually companies and places that you can actually go and put this into action at this time. So that's the stage we're going to go through. So are we ready to go? We're ready to rock Everybody and roll. Ready. ready to rock and roll. And, and, and ready I, to rock and roll. And, I, and I say to the persons, are you ready to rock and roll? Yannick, are you Is ready to up there ready to rock and roll? Are you ready to rock and roll, Lorna? Are you ready to rock and roll the, over there? Um, yes. Here you go. When I'm ready to rock and roll, yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, all right, let's just uh, go for it. We're talking about here um, a mindset. Yes. Because in lockdown, you get this situation where you don't know what you're going to do, where you're going to go. And sometimes, after a while, first of all, it seems okay. After a while, the novelty goes. I saw in the news today, they were talking about the new sort of track suits, lounging suits that have to wear at home. Let me tell you something don't buy into that. Do not buy into that because that whole idea of getting up and staying in your lounging suits, your PJs, it has a downward spiral effect mentally after a while, you know? So mm -hmm. these little actions are going to make a difference. Don't stay in your PJs all day. That's one tip for lockdown right now. Get up as if you're going somewhere. You've got something to do. You've got time and you've got routine. Do it, right? So when that goes on too long, we start thinking the bill comes in. We think, what are we going to do? How am I going to pay this? What's going to happen? And not every company is being as lenient. Some are just saying, look, well, that's not our issue. We need to get our stuff done. Yeah. So we need to think of different ways. So this is a very good point why to take notes and go with this. So first of all, you've got to, you got to, like I say, you've got to learn to be able to earn, right? Yes. Readers are leaders, right? So in saying that, you've got to learn more to earn more at the end of the day. Now, what I'm going to say is this. I'm going to go through some things. I want you to put this point down straight away. A question to actually ask yourself. And the question is, you're finding out more about you, about your innate talent that you have. Today, this morning, I put a post up about innate talent, right? About if you could actually bottle your talent, would it sell? and you'd be able to survive through it. If you could bottle your talent, would it actually sell? Now think about this. What I want you to ask yourself now is, exactly. What I want you to ask yourself now is this. What is your innate talent? What is your gift? Jot it down, just, just straight off the top of your head. Just jot that down, whatever you think it is. Don't, 
don't censor it. Let it come straight from my bang onto the paper, right straight away. What is innate talent? Some people are great at cooking. Some people are good at um, solving things. Uh, some people are great at um, communicating. You know, sometimes some people just have a natural thing inside of them that works and works well, and that's part of what they are. Yes. Okay. So. If you know what that is and you jot it down, just jot it down straight away, right? Don't worry, you can refer back to them things later on. So now, a, my next part to that. So just, sorry? To, so just to clarify, ladies and gentlemen, what you're saying is uh, write down now what is your natural talent, isn't it? Yes? That's right. That's right. You know, and sometimes we yes. might think our natural talent is something else, but it's that sort of thing like when you were growing up and somebody said, oh, you're good at that. Oh, you're good at this. And you go, oh, no, I'm not. But trust me. You were, and you probably are still. If I to interject right there, just to, just to sort of um, put a, another perspective, is it yeah. like what you have in your hands? What you have yeah. in your hands? Mm. You hit it. You hit it, Sybil. It's like what you have in your hands. Yes. You know, I always remember, you know, that rings a bell when you said to me, what have in your hands? It just jumps in my head. Now, you know, it's like uh, when Moses was leading the people and he got to the and he started crying out to God and God said, what have you got in your hands? And he lifted up his rod and everything opened up. <laughs> It's the same thing. Wow. What have you got inside of you? What have you got inside your hands? Silbon, you hit that right on the nail. Fantastic. So I want you to put that down on a piece of paper right now. Yes. Right? What have you got in your hands? Okay. So I'm just jotting down because I jotted some notes. So if you see me, guys, I jotted some notes on it myself, right? Now, now you know what it is. And you can always go back to that. We're only doing it because of timing right now. Mm. It's, I want you to think about this. How could you actually nurture that? How could you make that into something profitable? Not how to do it, meaning if somebody said to me, well, my main talent is communication, let's say. Yeah. So maybe I could use that in a company. Maybe I could use it in public speaking. Maybe I could use it in running workshops, but I, it's no sense me just getting up and going to someone and say, look, I want to speak or I want to run a workshop here or I want to be the communicator in a company. You know, when you're doing acquisitions, not. no, it's not about that. It's about refining that gift, turn it into gold. How would you do that? You got to go and read up on it. You got to find out where would it fit. You got to narrow it down, refine it. You got to find what company it would fit into and what field. Right now, this is just about the opportunity out of you, creating an opportunity about what you have inside of you. Yeah. Right now, in doing that, there's another thing as well. You are not just going to say, well, um, this is my talent. You know, oh, I'm good at you looking at you, so this and that. You're not going to do that. Yeah. What you're going to do is you're going to go away and you're going to read up and see how you can actually refine it, package it, yeah. package what you've got. Once you package it, you can actually market it. Once you market it, you've got to know who needs it, who actually needs it. You can't go and sell something to someone who doesn't need it because what you'll do is you'll be, they'll be telling you no, 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 no. And you'll be um, battering yourself down. And before you know, you turn away and saying, well, maybe that wasn't it. And that wasn't when it didn't work. No, that's not true. Yeah. You've got to do your research, find out what sort of companies need what you got. And let's put it this way. You don't always have to be selling into companies. Yes. You could start getting your clients instead. Who actually needs what you got? Oh, you're really great at cooking? Wow, brilliant. You know what? You ever thought about where you could actually get that, where you could get your customers from, what's happening? And let's put it so we're in lockdown right now, so that might not make sense in that way, but yeah. guess what? We've got online. How am I going to market that online? How am I going to put a magazine together online? How am I going to, let's say, write a blog on it each week? How am I going to turn that into finance? How am I going to monetize it? You see, all these little things that you've got inside of you already is going to make a difference. It's funny enough, it might make a difference so much you might not want to go back to where you were before, you know, but it, all these little things, you've got to start doing the research behind it. So this is about creating an opportunity, as Silvan said, from what's in your hands already. Yes, yes, yes. Right? Do not doubt yourself. Do not doubt yourself at all. Once you find this actually kicks in, you'll see how many more talents inside of you that you've actually got that you can make it work. You know, I, I know a lot of people around me that have so many 
um, let's say, different talents that I've noticed and skills that could be marketed and put together in the right way. But because they've never had the opportunity or seen it that way, they see it from the straight one angle, nine to five, got to do this, got to do that. But that could be your breakthrough. Do you think that right? sometimes, do you think that sometimes uh, people are guilty of maybe overthinking it at times, trying to, you see, I believe in this concept called warts and all. Warts and all mean to say, sometimes we're trying to polish ourselves down, trying to get everything too perfect. And then by virtue yeah. of that, we lose ourselves. And it's, it's like going there with what you have. Yes. Yes, Sylvan. You know, um, that's the same doubting thing. We mm -hmm. tend to talk self down. We want it perfect. You know, I've always had this flash up on my phone, like I was saying last week, how I use my phone, is I've had this flash up and it actually says, um, don't worry about the perfection, just do it. You know, and that's exactly what I do. If I'm trying to find out someone along the way, I'll just go on it. Yeah, you're going to get the naysayers. You're going to get the one who's criticized. But trust me, you are getting better and better and better as you go along. Yes. You know, or get somebody who you know who does it already, who can mentor you and show you how. Because a mentor is someone who's actually um, been dropped in pit holes along the way. But they'll show you how to miss out the pit holes along the way and yeah. guide through. So go with it, you know, go with it. You know, that's a little bit of a part one of that. Now I'm going to do a part two. Then this one, I'm going to put you to the test with this. I'm going to put a little challenge in here. Mm. This one, you've got to take action right after or by tomorrow. You're either going to go online or you're going to, um, let's say, by, by tomorrow, actually, and give us some results on this. This one's slightly different to what I was just talking about. I'm only doing it for time. If you wanted to go more into this sort of thing, um, as Silborn puts my details up at the bottom, you'll see and get in touch and go a bit further than this, yeah. right? But this one is this. Look, now I'm going to talk to the people with no experience. Yeah. Right? No experience. Right? Because sometimes when you say something, somebody think, but I haven't got this behind me. I haven't got that behind me. And, you know, we're talking about the real people here, right? No experience sort of thing. We're talking about online. The only thing you're going to need as your experience right now is your, um, let's say, internet connection, Yes. right? Internet mm -hmm. connection, and uh, probably just knowledge of tapping the keys, really, and a phone, Yes. right? Now, I'm not talking about the sort of thing where you see, when you see something saying, get rich, quick thing, forget it, man, forget it. Or if they're saying, you've got to pay this first, and it's like, forget it, you know, forget yeah. it. I'm not saying all of them, because I'm going to probably get a deluge after. I'm not saying all of them. You know, quite a lot, right? Okay. So what I'm going to say is, look, this is about you um, being employed by somebody else, but in a different sort of way, a sort of self-employment one. Now, there are companies out there that as you're in lockdown right now, you can actually work for them remotely. You can work for them remotely. And when I say remotely, meaning you could do the calls from home, you could do the online from and get paid for it at the same time right while doing whatever else you do right now i've jotted down some names of some of them as well but let me just say what if you were um pretty good at let's say sales right let's say you're good at sales you're good at talking to people right there are many many different jobs on there online i'm going to give you the places to actually go to these four yeah. at the end so notes on it but there are many um sales jobs sales executive jobs whatever field you might be interested in cars you might be interested in uh uh some something digital you might be interested whatever area that you feel you could work in sales well and do it online might be power energy anything at all you know you can actually phone up these companies and do remote you can work from your home um customer yeah. service yep Customer service, you can do customer service from your home, only on the internet and on the phone for these companies, you know? You can, um, let's put this, I've got another one here. Um, I've got it jotted down, right? Okay, we're talking about customer service. Do you know that Amazon's got a big section at the bottom? When you go through their page at the bottom for jobs, and they've actually got customer service on there. You know, when you phone these people up and you think you're talking to the company, but you're probably talking to somebody at home in there and talking. You could be doing that too. And they Instant could be, money. That's and, what I'm talking about. And they about. could be in their pajamas as well. 
and they could be in their pajamas as well. More than more chances they are, right? So next time you just ask me, you in your pajamas <laughs> when you speak to them, right? So here we go. I'm going to give you a few companies that you can actually call on. This is why I said you can hit this one tonight or tomorrow and go through or go online, right? Some of them would seem a bit strange, but it doesn't matter where they are in the world as well. When you're working on remote, you're working on remote online on remote yeah. right so don't be confined by thinking oh but this one's over here and this one's there no you're working on a remote and that means anywhere around the world right so that means a lot more opportunities okay so here we go i just mentioned that amazon all right we all know about indeed right if you put in there remote jobs yeah. remote jobs right and you'll have a section that will come down and it'll be all these remote jobs and you can refine that search on there like i said it depends what sort of um, sales you want to do or customer service that you want to do. Um, then we got this other one, which is um, interesting actually, because before I came in, I actually looked at some of these up as well at the same time. Here we go. Uh, flex jobs, mm. remote, remote as well. Yes. Right? Flex jobs, right? F L E X J O B S, flex jobs, right? Now, these are, could be any kind of remote jobs. And let me just say, here's a sort of going back to the entrepreneur one and similar to what I was saying when if you have a talent or skill that you want to develop that you have inside of you what if you wanted to be a person who writes or writes blogs yes. or let's say write scripts for companies or you know you want to do some presenting room here's one um scripted.com scripted.com and they will pay you for writing for them and for different, you know, say, magazines, different areas, online, whatever. Scripted.com, really interesting one. I found that quite interesting, actually. But I'm not saying that's for everybody because for some people, they might have really good skill at writing and putting things together are quite persuasive. Writing a blog and they're saying, oh, it's about, um, let's say, juices or whatever, or, you know, just some, something of interest or whatever. Writing it in a way that um, people want to buy it. So, and it could be anything. So anyway, don't just go by what I said only. Have a look at it yourself, scripted.com, S-C-R-I-P-T-E-D.com, right? Here's one that I've actually used quite a few times as well, um, fiverr.com, fiverr.com. Fiverr's not spelled like the fiverr, but it's spelled with two R's at the end. F-I-V-E-R-R, fiverr.com. There are many sort of gigs on there, many sort of jobs. You've got to find, like I said, if you find out what your skill is, your talent, and you refine it, you can go and then sell what you've got as well at the same time, Fiverr.com. Not only that, if you want to actually hire someone to do a little job that you've got on there, which I've done uh, numerous times as well, it really is good, Fiverr.com. Okay, and even so it says Fiverr.com, which don't mean you're just going to um, get paid a five, five or only, right? <laughs> it depends on the actual job and how, you know, the add-ons and things like that. Because you might be thinking, yeah, you said we need money, but we're on Fiverr.com, <laughs> right? No. Okay, so let me give you another one, right? I might be going pretty fast on this, but yeah. let's, here we go. Um, Glassdoor.uk. Just tap into there, remote jobs. Remote jobs. So what you're so what you're actually trying to say now is that some of these opportunities may not have existed before, but because of the lockdown is and how the world thinking, organizations are now realizing that hang on a second, I can save a lot of money here instead of people coming in with brick and mortar to my business place with electricity, they can work from home. And and also what is happening now, people jobs are now being all over the world now, isn't it? Yeah, so it's, it's, it's a more competitive edge, isn't it? That is exactly it, Silver One. It's opened up a whole new opportunity. I mean, we probably wouldn't have looked at half of these things yeah. I mentioned right now, but mm -hmm. sometimes they're right under our nose. But because our thinking is still thinking the old way, we uh, get stuck. Mm -hmm. And when we get stuck, we actually get a little bit depressed about the situation and start to spiral down. But now we're opening things up and saying, look, you know, maybe I could do this, I could do that. Oh, let me talk to the people who can speak, um, who's bilingual and speak uh, other languages. Here's yeah. one that's really good. This one is really good. Now, if that's a natural talent of yours, you speak another language, second language, and all that, and it's not gibberish, as I yeah. say. Yeah. But seriously, um, here's one that's really good. It's called Language Line Solutions. Language Line Solutions. Mm. 
this is really good if you want to do interpreting you could do it anywhere anywhere or for any organization yes at the end of the day yeah that's a really useful one now just as you're saying back to what you're saying and i'll give you the last two on this yeah. is look the world has opened up and there is a change happening and everybody keeps talking about the the new norm yes let me tell you something there's nothing going to be like the way it was before yes. yes all right so we're having this battle right now with the whole thing right but on the other end there's going to be a big change in the way um industry the whole industries are working yes. the way you'll be actually marketing yourself as well there'll be changes you know i felt the change as well in the coaching side they're saying well look uh, most of it is online most of it is online you know until otherwise you know Mm. So I'm still bookable, <laughs> right? But well, most of it is online. I mean, it, it has changed. It has changed drastically because in courts now everything is. Um, this is my courtroom. <laughs> most times, and when I'm here, right. um, the, everybody is fascinated sometimes by my backdrop. Sometimes I have to change the backdrop yeah. because the judges are there, the parties are there, the mother, the father, and and this is what it is. The question yeah. now is, will it go back to? normal whereby you can do some court hearings now which are not very technical which are not very difficult do you need to go into a courtroom that's a big question now <laughs> well i wonder will that influence situations as well i mean i mean you can tell me i mean would that actually influence the situation you know for someone because i'm more a sort of let's say kinesthetic person where it's touchy-feely you need to see talk to the person that sort of thing i work otherwise now but if i had a preference is that in that sense yeah. you know no, no, it, 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 it's, you see, I, one cannot say because of COVID, but I would normally, it's because you don't want to give COVID any any sort of cues or any plus no. or any kudos. But one exactly. can say people, human beings innovate, human beings when their back is against the wall, human beings are survivors, human beings are persons that over the years, over time, over centuries, tend to evolve and tend to be survivors. I always believe that it's good to be living, but at the same time, before you can live, you got to survive. And that is yeah. what is happening now. There's a survival mode which is happening. And that is why people are now being innovative. People are now being creative. So, yes, COVID tried to kill us. But, hey, we're going to fight it. Just like Church said, we can take it. We can take that city, man. And we can say, COVID, up off, I'm offended. That's a Jamaican slang. I don't know if anybody can interpret that. You know what I'm trying to say? <laughs> <laughs> but carry on. Great. Yeah, anyway, <laughs> you know, um, <clears throat> You know, in saying that, um, that goes to do with the mindset as well. And you're yeah. completely right. And that, I mean, think about this. If right now at this desk, I knocked over a glass of water, yeah. by the time I run to get a rag out there, the water is going to find its way, gravity to where it's going to find. It finds yeah. a way. You know, it's funny because like church go to the motto I said that we use all the time is find a way. No matter what the situation is, find a way, you know, and that's exactly what's happening now you either live or you die that sort of thing and i don't mean in that sort of way meaning in you surviving you know find a way that's all you've got to think you can't think oh um i can't do this i can't do that or this might happen or somebody might just find a way that's the only way thing about it that's survival you know we're adapting we're adapting yeah you know, and we're going to find a way and everybody can and the more people come together and throw ideas like we're talking about now somebody's going to come up with something really good you know that you think why mm. didn't i think of this a long time ago sometime we need to be squeezed to find out mm. what we're really made of you know but saying that let me just give you these last two on here um yeah. another one which is a virtual call center so like i said i'm talking to the people who just want to make pay the bills right now that's what it is right um it's, it's yeah. called live op one whole word l-i-v-e-o-p Live op, virtual call center. And the last one on there, Concentrix. C-O-N-C-E-N-T-R-I-X. Concentrix. Now, you know what? I, think what, I was going to say what we're going to do after this. What we're going to do after this is Chris is going to um, let me have these names and then we can yes. put it up on the, on the on the site. So, you know, just so assist persons as well yes sorry and i th i think i think um i think we should <coughs> speak to these companies eh because we're kind of promoting yes. them there what are you looking so one <laughs> 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 even the pajama company 
even the pajama company as well. Everybody's known. You know, <laughs> All right. Okay. So, um, and the reason why I'm uh, plugging it really is not anything to do with companies or anything off the top or any commissioner. Is really to actually help those individuals who are out there who say, "Look, I need to try something totally different while I'm doing what I'm doing." Or if you're not doing anything now, you're just trying something. That's what it's about. But it'd be really good to hear your results from this at the same time. Now, going back to this, I said yeah, I messaged, in the beginning. I messaged sure. someone. Somebody message I missed the last ones. If you, is that Lorna? I see Lorna. I missed the last I one. Missed... Concentrics, spelled C O N C E N T R I X. Concentrics, yes. and the one before that, just before that, was Live Op. Yeah, that's it. You got it up mm -hmm. there. No idea, McKenzie. Because you Thank you very much. Actually, she she did ask you a question. She did ask a question. Oh, Mr. Brown, do you coach? Do you do coaching? Yes, I am a coach. I know we've got the name up there, um, Chris Brown, but it is, I'm actually known as Coach Chris Brown. Reason being is there's once upon a time and this all started and I was doing another TV show at the time. And every time I got something come through, people try and find, they'll find another Chris Brown, you know, you know that Chris Brown, right? So there had to be a change on this. So that's why we got defining Coach Chris Brown. And, um, um, who said what do I say? And what and what do I say? Chris Brown with an E. You say Chris Brown with an E. That's right. And you're completely right. <laughs> you got it. Exactly. Right. So um, yes, if you're interested in um knowing about coaching or that, do get in touch with me on the bottom there, and I will get back get back to you at the same time. But yes, that's what I do. I coach people mainly on confidence and um business as well, same companies. But in saying that. What I'll say to this, I'm just looking at the side as well. I can see over here. Okay. Okay. Right. Yeah. Okay. Just go to the website, um, coachchrisbrown.com, or you can chat to me on Instagram as well, as it's at the bottom there. So, Silborn, um, we were yes. saying about um, results on this and what people actually get from, weren't we? Remember, we were having our conversation. Yes. Yeah. The, the, and... the key... Sorry. Sorry. Go ahead. No, no, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, no, I'll talk about results because it is so important that um, what is it that one wants to achieve sometime after we have a discussion like this, the outcome, the objective, whereby one can actually see from, say, within 24 hours, one can say, hang on a second, yeah, I was sitting alone at home, yeah, I was um, isolating, yeah, I was um, in my pajamas, and Chris Brown just dropped something here, live up, you know, Concierge, all these different places where I can actually do things instead of just chatting. I mean, yeah. I, I saw, I, I tell you this, I saw mm -hmm. a site which came up called Clubhouse. Clubhouse on social media. Okay, what's that I one? Decided, uh, it's another talk thing, social media. Right. I personally decided to say I'm not going to do it because what I've seen is just a lot of talking, man. And I think to myself and I said, I've got to make sure that I'm utilizing my time properly because you can find yourself with all these social media, Telegram, Signal, everybody's coming up and what you're doing. The time that we have now, and ladies and gentlemen, this is where, this is me now. The time that we have now, they are reaching out to us to capture that, to, to capture, capitalize on that time. And I'm saying, stop, stop for a second. Even if WhatsApp change the terms of reference and you run away, What's the guarantee that Signal, Telegram, Clubhouse won't change their terms of reference later when they start to realize, hang on, of all these people? And I started to think, Chris, and I said, we've got to make sure that we watch the time that we have, which came yeah. in our hands. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you're completely right. You're completely right. And the funny thing, because you trigger that, and on the spot right now, I honestly didn't think about that when we were talking about, we're not going to mention the names, changing yeah. from certain platforms right now that are taking certain liberties away but the thing about it is you are right it could happen again and this is why it's always good to have your own of what you're doing and yeah. have a control over what you're doing instead of being in somebody else's hands all the time yeah. but we are in a situation where we are in that right now especially mm. in this period you know yes but to add to that as well there's something else that you said in between i'd like to add to that as well is look you can spend all the time on each one of these platforms at the end of the day but just remember this, and it's something I mentioned the week before. Mm. You've only got 24 hours in a day. Wow. Wow. 
next part. Remember that. So mm -hmm. the thing about it is we don't know about tomorrow. I know I mentioned this last week, but I really mean this. So you've got to use it up. Right yeah. now, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that because it's funny you introduced me to. Um, remember, we were talking about the IG and all that. Oh, Silborn got me into IG. It's like, oh, I, right. I introduced so, Chris Brown to Instagram. I coach him, he coaches me. <laughs> right. So, the thing about it is this look, it is so easy to get wrapped up. Now, what I do with other things I do, I make sure that I manage my time, that it's only that early morning, that hour or so within that time, then I'll go through that or whatever. And then after I'll just get on with it. I know some people are doing five, 10 a day or whatnot, but that's the only reason why. There'll be other times I will do that, like put two or three on that time day. But mm -hmm. I just think there are some things that are really important, but the main thing is it's how you use the tool at the end of the day. Are you using it to affect for the positive or using it just to like, you know, just there? Or information that you'll learn from as well, you know. I've met some great people on there so far, to be honest, you know, and it's it's really nice, you know, those who shout out and say and you know, you know, response that's really great, it's really positive in that sense. And I thank you all as well, by the way. Yeah. Everybody's following. I thank you for following. But what I'm saying is this let's be concise with our time and what how we use our time because now we've just spent this time on here, but we cannot say it was not conducive and added something to all what we want to do in one way or, or learning information. And this show has always been about helping others. I mean, I sent I sent you a, a text the other day, isn't it, about, um, about the platform helping others and be blessed by it. Because that's what it's doing at the end of the day. So it's how we actually use the tool. Is it a toy or is it a tool? Yeah, that's that's the most important thing. Uh, it is how we utilize it and, uh, and what we have in our hands, what God has blessed us with, because the more we it's more blessed to give than to receive as i was saying it chris i want to just quickly just show up some of what people are saying here um sure. Norman mckinsey said so true it's like having patients in hospital and letting them wear pajamas that is the pajama concept there all day keeps them in a sick mind frame whilst wow. if they get up and put on their normal day-to-day -day clothes it puts them in a mind frame of going home and up the healing process i want to pick up on that point there chris oh. uh, and the point is this Going back into normality, if we do that, there's going mm. to be a process, isn't it? Because people are now conditioned in this laid back mentality, the pajama mentality, which this company is doing, making lots of money. When people are ready to go back, that's going to be a challenge, don't you think, at the same time? It, it's been a challenge. And I mentioned this in the last um, yes. lockdown, is the challenges for companies mm. to actually get people to come back and actually happened i remember mentioning it before it happened and it did actually happen yeah. where some you will find it hard to get the staff to come back to work and then you got individuals saying well i'm not going to come back not unless you have this that that and the other and can that company afford to actually put those things in there but no matter what they should do anyway because we're talking about lives we're talking about safety here so there's mm. going to be a challenge again because the other thing as well was when people realize they can actually work at home like we're doing now as well. And let's just say yes. monetizing it, it goes up the other way more than what they're actually, you know, there's going to be a big challenge in many ways yeah. of going back as well. Yeah. I mean, we all have to readjust to this in one way or another, yeah. you know. Well, there's another comment. Okay. Okay. Say I love reading and can read five books a week. How would wow. I let them? I'll tell yeah. you one for that. I will tell you one for that. <laughs> Nadia, you know what? Um, I said a company on there, I think it was scripted. You know what? You want to look at the whole thing of proofreading. Proofreading. If you went to fiverr.com, everybody's looking for a proofreader. You know what? Some of the stuff I write, sometimes I'm a proofreader. Proofreader. If you can read five books in a week, you know, I think I'll give you my books. You tell me the information. I'm always reading. <laughs> oh, I've got to read this book. Let me give it to Nadia. <laughs> right yeah no but seriously yeah. all jokes aside um really check that out proofreading that's what i'll say to you anybody else want to throw one up there they think and i'll see if i can bounce that in there what you can do with it and i'll listen to what lorna said now my son works from home and doing insurance and he gets up dress up as he was going to work it's good for his mental health now that's a crucial one there get yes. up and dress as if you're going to work anthony, yeah. anthony francis mentioned at the same time we've got to keep that mentality not just really? oh and just go out. yeah um lorna you know what um your son's progressive 
And that's the way to do it. I'm sure he started doing it for himself as well. He gets up and dress up, as he said, as is going to work. And do you know, it's funny because many years ago, I used to work in sales as well. And I really do believe it has an effect on what the way you present yourself. Even that person can't see you on the other end of the phone. It actually makes a difference into actually being able to yeah. sell at the same time. So great. All the success to him. Yes. Now that, that's powerful, uh, um, Coach. And uh, as someone says here, time management does wonders. Utilize your time and energy properly. And of course, people will come back and they can uh, give their comments and views. Uh, Nori just came back and say, I do that with ease. I've been reading since I was six, lived in the library. And one thing people always said to me was that whenever they saw me, I always have a book. Wow. So do you read wow. by the in the hospital, Nadia? <laughs> She's a nurse. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, think, I think that's wonderful. I think that's great. It's a great talent. And, um, you know, it's just like um, going into the gym or an athlete. You have to do bit by bit. But if you've been doing this, you said since you're six, um, I was six, lived in like, listen, you know what? You've got something great there. You probably don't realize how you much you can capitalize on that. But there's the other yeah. thing as well to say with that. This jumped in my head. Um, speed reading. Um, you could teach somebody else how to speed read as well. There you go. There's many other areas you can do with that. Any others to throw up there? Well, I, yeah, a break dance, spinning on my back. I used to, mm -hmm. I've been break dancing from I've been 10 years of age. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, think, I think what we could do is go retro and make videos or retro and say how to break dance. <laughs> You know, <laughs> want to go back to the <laughs> <80s>? <laughs> how to break dance and rap and beatbox. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Got a few studios, yeah. I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let us three. Speak, uh, Michelle, please and business just coming in. Keep grandkids got up and get dressed as if they're going to school. <laughs> there we go. That's a powerful <laughs> one. There, what time is it there? Where are you coming from? <laughs> Well, Michelle is in the States. <laughs> She's in the US. Okay, so we can get away with that. I thought it was like this time now. I thought, wow, what are you doing to them? We're pretty eager to get in. Uh, no, that's really good anyway, because the performance of a child as well. Let's talk about that as well. Um, to get somebody into a mode. Let's put it this way. You're a professional footballer. You're not going to put on your, your best shoes instead and run on a pitch and you're going to play really well. You know, you've got to put on the right kit at the end of the day. And it's the same thing of the thinking with a child in what, how you dress them, where they're going, and who they're going to be, and what they're going to do. Well, well, Chris, we're out of time, ladies and gentlemen. That was powerful, and um, yeah, Chris, I'm gonna I'm gonna sum up, but there's something that just dropped, and and I know we say we're gonna do this weekly, but we never had a yep. plan, but we had a plan. We we think yeah. we plan it doing now. We're by confidence. I think we need to yeah. touch on something on confidence because. Confidence seems to be something which can get lacking during this course of this time, isn't it? Of course, yes. You know, we're talking about confidence. We're talking about in this time, our mental health, our stability and how we see ourselves and our self-esteem and our worth at this time. Confidence is a good thing we to touch on next week. Should we do that? Okay, well, let, that's it. That's it. We, we, I, just, yep. I just thought it. Think it. Plan it. Do it now. So we thought it. <laughs> so confidence. Go for it. I think we got one little thing, isn't it? Um, hang on. Yeah. Let me get, let me get a hold yeah, of it. Enjoy. What's that? Oops. What's that? What's that? I enjoy cooking. What's that? What's that one? Let me say that quick. Yeah, I enjoy, I enjoy cooking. Thank you, Chris, for the valuable information. Man, that, that was a good show, Chris. Oh, that was a good oh, my show. Pleasure. Hey, hey, hang on. Let me get it. Oh. <laughs> oh Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. That, that, it's that, was, that, was, that was a good show. <laughs> Listen, <I like laughs> Any last word, Chris, before I go? Well, look, and, and um, last we just, all right, what I'm going to say is this, look, we get information and we can put it aside on that piece of paper. We get information and start doing something straight away. Rewire those neurons in the head. Rewire them by taking an action now that will bring a result by tomorrow. And you know what? Give us yeah. some feedback on it. I'd like to know. Give us some feedback on it. You know, that would be great. And, 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 and Go ahead. Sorry, Chris. Sorry. No, you're, you're no sorry. Please, I want to say listen, thank you for all of you who's actually listening, taking this information and applying it, you know? And um, 
Take that Instagram. Yeah, <laughs> I, yeah, thanks. And as what Chris was actually saying, um, it's important. Let's give some feedback. You can give some quick feedback to, to Chris directly there. He's on Instagram. All his details being scrolling for you. And you also have my feedback as well. You can add uh, feedback to uh, Silburn on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube as well. Uh, just so we can have an idea as we take it to the next level. Because I believe, as I mentioned, in boost mode. That is B -O -O -S -T mode, not lockdown mode. But what I capture from today, um, ladies and gentlemen, is one of the key things is what you have in your hand. Because during the course of this lockdown now, people are trying to maybe acquire skills or maybe doing something. But Chris said something, your innate ability. Is that the right word, Chris? Your innate That's ability, right. the thing which is natural. Yeah. So, you know, when I started this show, the Silburn show, I, I was looking for something one time when I used to have a chair in the studio when we could go to the studio. Mm -hmm. I said I needed a chair. I was looking for this chair, man. I was going around, I'm looking at Ellen film, I'm looking at Steve Harvey trying to find chairs. And I said, I need a chair. And then guess what, Chris? The word came yeah. to me, something powerful came to me. I said, what do you have in your hands? And I said, that's it. I'm not going to spend any money. In my back garage, there were three chairs, red chairs. Wow. Wrapped up in cellophane. Why? Because my wife's company shut down one time. It's a corporate company. And they had all these things. And I said, I'm going to take it. Three years before I started the show in 2015, those chairs were sitting in my garage. Wow. And then I was going around trying to find expensive chairs. The point about it right there is, it's a, it's a figurative way of saying it, but what is it that you have in your hand? What is your natural wit? Um, Nordia said, I like to read. She read five books. Yours, Chris said, do some proofreading. Proofreading. So, somebody said, I like to cook. Somebody will say, you know, one of us. Somebody said, like to wear pajamas. Well, model pajamas for that, model pajama for that company. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just say a quick one for that one and say cooking. You can actually do recipes online as well, and you can get paid for that. In the same yeah, way. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so no, so that was good. That was really good, Chris. And um, and and the key thing, okay. the key thing that you said also, which people need to remember, is uh, find a way. Find a way. And and oh. Oh, and, and of course, Dan had to jump into this. Ladies and gentlemen, she, she jumped in and said, I like to design graphics. There you are. There you go. And you know what? When you talk about graphics, you are yeah. talking about the digital area right now where there are so many companies, so many, there's another, there's another one called freelancers.com. Yes. Your graphic designer, you can put your stuff on there and people buy it. Same like you can do graphic design on fiverr.com. Mm. which um which i normally look at for looking for someone to do graphics at the end of the day you know so i mean yeah there there are loads i mean keep them coming you know if i can help in any way please you know I'm here. and one of, the thing, one of the things chris um is that uh, a lot of young children they are so fast and so quick on the computer oh. so ladies and gentlemen what i'm trying to say to you as well see your children as potential pensions there could be a pension as well <laughs> <laughs> Because they are, they are brilliant. I got two, eight just, and, and they're brilliant. I mean, they're my psychic I now. I could just see them cheering going, Mommy, Daddy, don't listen to that. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Don't beat me there. <laughs> right. Yeah, but yeah, seriously, there's potential all around you. And you know, you don't always yeah. have to look outside. Sometimes you have to look within and see. Yeah. And sometimes, you know what? Not even sometimes you ask. And it yes, gets downloaded yeah. and said, drops in, and there you are. You know, there's been many situations like that, even myself, when I think about it, you know, in how I end up doing yeah. what I'm doing. It's really interesting. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So there you go. Fantastic. Go for it. Awesome. Good. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for coming on. I'm Lorna, um, Michelle, Dan, and uh, Instagram uh, as well. Thank you guys for coming on. And of course, you can watch the replay um, on YouTube and Facebook where you can see everything. And uh, as well, you can. Uh, you know, subscribe and like to the Silver and Show on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram as well. Also on uh, LinkedIn as well, which I'm there, which I'll post things. You can catch it. And next week, as I mentioned, Chris will be coming back where we're talking about confidence. And I've got Coach Anthony Brown, who is going to say, let's do a, a double up again. He's coming on Saturday. Okay. Where we're just going to go for it. it it's, not, it, it's a boost. Mode. We're, just, we're on this boost thing, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. You know, we're not in not into any negative. Listen, there's so much negative energies out there, man. I just want to use some positive thing and dispel all of them because we don't need to really regurgitate negative things. And of no. course, tomorrow, 20th, we got uh, America inauguration, you know, 
even that is happening here. Yeah, we try to find the positives out of that as well. <laughs> but uh, I'll be tuning in somehow, you know, to see the end and the start of a new era as well. Yeah. Okay. Chris, thank you so much. Normally we would have gone over to Instagram tonight, but uh, we let that be, you know, Instagram. Yeah. Um, we got in yeah, so, so thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, and um all the best. Good night. And uh good night. Keep and uh well, and Chris, you yeah. yourself, sir. Okay. Right. Bye bye. Bye bye.